Thank you for your watching. Please remember to subscribe to EC2 Digital YouTube channel. Thanks for your support, and we will keep updating the video contents about digital lifestyle, coupons, digital marketing strategy, and work automation approach. Hey guys, I'm Louis. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about what's the difference among CDP, CIM, and DMP. So, after you're watching this video, you guys can learn the difference and know why a company needs a data platform. If you're going to invest a data platform, you can learn how to select in this video. So, what is CDP? CDP is short for uh, Customer Data Platform and it's developed to uh, collect and unify all the data for the purpose to build up a simple view of a customer. So CDP enables you to collect to or integrate with different digital platforms, for example, advertising, chatbot, POS, online shopping cart, social media, email, or web analytics, etc. And because of this capacity of CDP, CDP is powerful to help you eliminate the data silos. Maybe now you are using Google Marketing Platform, you are using Salesforce CRM, or now you are using one of the DSP the trade desk, or now you are using one email browser system, maybe, maybe MailChimp. So different status are located in different platforms. That is make you feel very frustrated when you would like to launch a campaign. And based on the unification capacity of a CDP, CDP can also improve your customer analytics and segmentation. For example, you could identify Lewis who click through your advertising banners in CNN, and when Lewis engaged with your post in Facebook, and also which email Lewis opened, you browse through Salesforce Email Studio. In collection and unification of a CDP platform, so CDP is supports to one-to-one personalized communication. Then you can activate the core customer data by using a CDP to fit the tailor mix, for example, discount, coupon information, or the specific product information to a customer to tailor make all the messages for the omni channel strategy. So this is the beauty of the CDP. So nowadays, there are so many uh, well-known CDP platforms available on the markets. For example, the Salesforce uh, Datorama or the Lictix. If you guys are interested in more platforms details, please click the link below the video and have a look. What is CIM? CIM is short for Customer Relationships Management Platform. It enables people to store customer personally identifiable information we call PII or also there is another link called deterministic data such as the phone number, name, home address, email address, etc. And basically, sales team use CIMS to record the customer conversation history, purchase history in CIM and the whole process usually is done by manual. At the same time, Marketing team utilize CIMs to implement one-to-one -one communication through email channel, mobile SMS, web dynamic content, app notification, and chatbot. CDP and CIM can both store the PII data, but the cons of the CIM is the capacity is not able to fully integrate with data. For example, it's not able to integrate with the probabilistic data like cookies, mobile ID. So you just can provide a very limited view of a customer. I just make a very simple example. A sales can see the customer conversation history, interaction status, or the purchase history in a CRM. But a sales is not able to see the engagement history on a company social media post, or when the customers click through an advertising banner in CNN, and which page the customer has viewed on a website or mobile application. What is DMP? DMP is an abbreviation of data management platform. DMP it can only save probabilistic data such as the cookies, mobile ID, social ID, etc. instead of the PII data we just mentioned in CDP and CIM session. DMP is primarily used by advertisers. Advertisers utilize DMPs to uh, set up a advertising targeting in the campaign and increase the rich accuracies 
in large scale or the leisure groups or night work for the purpose to optimize the advertising dollars. Basically, every advertising platform nowadays has its own DMP, different to advertisers to use for free, such as the Alibaba, Tencent in China, and Google Marketing Platform, Facebook Ads Manager, etc. Or advertisers can spend money and invest one, such as the Salesforce, Audience Studio, former Recall Cruise, to eliminate the probabilistic data silos, so we can centralize all the data in one platform, in one DMP. <coughs> However, the disadvantage of DMP is it cannot identify a customer due to only saving the anonymous data. So it is able one to one pay the make communication with a customer, and also uh, overlap duplicate data often happens in DMP. Uh, but most importantly, the data will be more often shot live because the cookies will be clear very fast. So it is very difficult to implement a sustainable communication with a customer for long term. So you might have one question in your mind: Why? Data platform matters to my business success. I believe you will agree with me that the brand assets, for example, the content, partnerships, customer transaction data, are, criti are critical to your business. And thanks to the beauty of digital era nowadays, the data platform enables us to track, store, and utilize the customer data fully in 360 degree view. So it is very easy for us to build up an accurate communication cycle for business purpose. And once you recognize this kind of data is assets for you, you don't want to lose them. As well, you don't want to lose content, partnership, and customer transaction data previously or in traditional marketing strategy. And one more point is, with more and more data coming into your platform, shaping a simple view of a customer is critical because that can help you relieve uh, your depressions when setting up a campaign and enhance your communication efficiencies. So all this stuff are the reasons why your business need a data platform. So how does that a platform? Basically, each data platform has its radio and uh, unique features. And where we consider a data platform, I think the first is the cost. Uh, how much the platform could charge us monthly and but also we also need to consider our team structure whether we have a marketing team whether we have a sales team so these factors uh, help us to make a right decision which features in the platform we need and whether we also need a tech guy you know to help us drive our company and from our experience from our perspective i think business model uh, is also one of the key factors affecting your final decision because if your business uh, is focused to drive traffic and earn revenue from traffic uh, so maybe you need a different data platform for how you to to execute your strategy or also if your business model is the customer centric and you need to not only drive the new customer but also retain the customer and hope the customer will deal the service again and again so you might need a different data platform supporting you to achieve this goal and in this video i will take subscription model which means the customer centric model as an example so uh, uh i will share with you my suggestion how to stay a data platform based on your your budget your team structure and business model and what's the order to invest from the beginning to middle stage to a round stage first step i suggest to start with cim investment you know, uh, new lead generation and uh, new customer acquisition is very expensive nowadays online. On the other hand, customer retention cost is much lower. Which means that after you spend a lot of money to try new customers, if you don't have a platform to, to save these prospects and new customers and categorize the different situation among the customers, you will keep increasing the uh, customer maintenance cost. So CIM is a very fundamental platform to help you on this because it's much cheaper and efficient approach to store the PII data. CIM plays a role in all media strategy. So once you try in more and more PII data in your CIM, 
you can communicate with these prospects, new customers or existing customers, you know, in an automation way through the email channels, app notification, uh, chatbot, and social media, and rather than keep the spreading dollars in advertisements. And also, some CIM platforms can collect the PII data with probabilistic data such as the Facebook profile ID in a single channel way. I take HubSpot for an example. After you setting up the uh, HubSpot CIM, when a customer submit an inquiry on your website or your mobile application, uh, HubSpot can try matching this customer profile in Facebook. So which means that you can uh, activate this data and feed the one-to-one telemic message to this customer in Facebook only. If only channel is, uh, is not an urgent strategy for you and Facebook channel is a key focus so far, I think HubSpot CRM can already fulfill CDP, CRM and DMP functions in a single channel way. DMP is the next step, second step. Further investment. DMP is primarily used by advertisers, and if it, when you consider DMP, it represents now your business is saturated on the market, and you are ready to in, invest much dollars on omnichannel strategy uh, to drive exposure in a wider scale or more new customers coming into your business. Apart from the Salesforce CIM, which is very well known on the market, I think Salesforce Audience Studio is a flexible and friendly integration options for you guys to consider. It's charged by uh, a warden, and so you can, uh, you are able to foresee the monthly spendings uh, for the advertising traffic. It provides a very friendly uh, uh, digital platform integration features, Google, uh, Facebook, Yahoo, etc. It's kind of a top tier channel, it's just one click button to collect. And also, uh, the preference provide very friendly API uh, features for your test stuff to build up the API with the leisure or local digital platforms for the market. And the most beautiful part is if now you're using the Salesforce CIM, which means that it's easy to build the collections between the CIM and the audi audience studio. So one CIM or one DMP is for you to match the PII data with the probabilistic data to shape a simple view of your customer. The function is not full CDP, but it's close to, it's much closer to a CDP functions to enhance your communication efficiencies. And the final step is to invest a CDP platform. So when you recognize Omi channel strategy, is a must-have option in your you know, business and marketing approach. Omni channel device here is, is, is includes the search, social media, email, uh, website, mobile, lo lo local targeting, etc. as a one channel. And you would like to deliver the one-to-one -one, uh, personalized messages to one to each customer. Uh, in the only channel view. So this is the, the hints you need to invest in CDB. From a business perspective, why uh, you have your ideas, only channel is a must because you, you, you feel stress, you feel pressures from the market, you have many competitors. You know, so the more telemax message, more telemax uh, information to your customer must can increase the conversion rate. Uh, so uh, this is a way, this is a different way not only to store data, but also protect your business market share to grow your new, new customers. And compared with the others two uh, data platform, CDP platform is, is very expensive, even though the platform normally charged by volume and their feature modules. So I would suggest you align with your uh, different divisions uh, uh, partners, for example, for sales, for marketing, team, for customer service, to create a top list of features you guys need. Uh, and then based on this list of features, uh, you can uh, ask for the pricing and uh, whether you need to recruit the new technical staff uh, uh, for this project. Because the cost is not only from the platforms, but the cost also from the hiring the new persons to set up some technical stuff. So till now, after you're watching the video content today, you, you, I believe you agree with one point is data platform is a key part of your business. 
data, data marketing strategy is critical for business success. It can be a technical approach, it can be a long-term strategy, but at the end, the key purpose, the key goal is to, to try new customers, maintain relationships, and retain their customer because the cost of customer retention is much lower. And a clear understanding the difference among CDP, CIM, and DMP can save few dollars, increase efficiencies on data platform selection. All right, if you have any comments, please leave your comment below the video. And remember to subscribe to Easy Digital YouTube channel. Thanks for your support. See you next time. Bye bye.